two years ago, I urinated pure blood without pain. I knew immediately what the diagnosis was. It was bladder cancer. I cannot fully describe what I felt at that moment. It is unbelievable. It's like taking a crash dive into the depths of anonymity, total isolation, fear, and panic. And all the faith in God or whatever faith you may have cannot handle that at that moment. When you start to get your wits together, and if you use your intelligence and then your faith, yes, spirit and mind are wonderful things. What you're saying is true. It's a sentence of death for most people. And immediately, their body metabolism goes into negative phases. Everything becomes destructive. This is modern medical voodoo. If a doctor tells you, you are going to die, I'm willing to bet you're going to die. I'll be the first one to put money on the line and say, the chances are you're going to beat the statistics. You will die because you've been told so. This is American voodoo. Let me, I'll get back to you, but let me take someone else. And... Uh, yes, Dr. Wilner, uh, I really appreciate what you're doing. Uh, I've been out here trying to uh, inform people about this uh, disinformation for a number of years now. Uh, Robert Gallo, who is, a, who is a proven medical fraud and a multimillionaire marketing a test, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, AMA itself in, in its own medical journals in the 80s have said that this is, uh, these tests are bad science. The microbiologists have said in their own medical texts that this is bad science, this is, these tests do not work. The hematologists have said that this is, this is false, these tests. They say that they have used ozone to, to uh, inactivate HIV, which HIV, if it's a virus, it's a template or a pattern, so what can it do? I mean, these are just basic me medical uh, facts. How is it that this has gotten by the entire population, uh, uh, you know, and the media is pushing this lie? Arthur Ashe, for example, was on 30 pills a day for three months before he succumbed, including AZT. How is that not iatrogenics? And how is it that that the medical profession can murder a million people a year, uh, according to their own study, the Yale New Haven study that came out this year, they admit to, that, to killing a million people a year. Why aren't they on trial? That's my question. By the way, I thank you for your comments, and I'd love to have a copy of that study and some of the information you talked about. I really would, because I've been going around saying it's the number th three cause of death is iatrogenic disease. And when I lecture before groups, I don't tell them what iatrogenic disease is. And I say to them, you know, here we're worried about this so-called AIDS epidemic, and I don't believe that anybody should die. I think we should all live forever. But 12,000 a year, that's not an epidemic. 60,000 die from automobile accidents. 120,000, I've been saying, and I hope you're going to help me change, 120,000 die each year, they admit to from iatrogenic disease, 500,000 from cancer, and 800,000 from heart disease. And I'm glad you're telling me it's a million because I've been saying, they say it's number three. I really believe in my heart it's number one. Deepak Chopra sure. it's the number one cause of... I agree with him, absolutely. Now, if we took the figure of 120,000 being killed by doctors, not malpractice, but as a normal course of everyday medicine, then doctors are ten times more dangerous than HIV. <laughs> now you're telling me it's a hundred times. times. Yeah, I, I want those figures really desperately. Please. They admitted, three, they admitted 350,000 in 1960. Well, I will be indebted because that's powerful stuff and I really, you know, it's funny, you never know where the figures are going to go. But with medicine, anything's possible. Yes, that, pardon me?